St. John's head coach and Hall of Famer Chris Mullen is our guest after a huge comeback on Sunday. And Chris, you guys are raised a double digit lead. I want to know what coaching gem you pulled out of your back pocket that uh, helped your guys flip the script and get that big win on Sunday. Yeah, SVP was a big uh, halftime speech. It went like, <laughs> let's stop making some open, let's stop making some open shots and get back in this game. <laughs> well, when I think like back in the day, like you got you and me are old enough to remember back in the day, whether it's music or sports or whatever. But back in the day, Nova and St. John's and that building, Raleigh and Louis, you, Easy Ed Pinkney. I mean, it was special. What was the atmosphere like that, and how close was it uh, Sunday to being what it was like back in the day? It felt just like that SVP. It was an incredible atmosphere. Villanova, one of the most respected programs in college basketball. We got great respect and admiration. Jay Wright, not only does he coach winning basketball, he does it with class and dignity. So we got great respect for them. MSG was so, no seats available. A great atmosphere. And the fact that we had to come back from down 19 made it special. We, uh, the crowd really lifted us up and helped us get that win. When I think of you and what you meant to, to, to St. John's, when I think of Patrick and what he meant to Georgetown, and I think of how, you know, we're all older than we used to be, and, like, you're coaching youngsters, man. Like, what sense do they have of, like, a, a, a kid with a floppy hair doing the white T-shirt getting buckets in the garden? Like, that? do they have a sense of that, like, who you were back then? I think a little bit, mostly from video games. Sometimes <laughs> they'll Google it, and I'm sure – if they shoot, see those short shorts in a t-shirt, they make fun of us. Right. Um, but yeah, it's kind of like it's kind of like a time warp, you know. Especially when we play Georgetown, just to see Patrick on the other sideline, um, it's pretty amazing actually. But it's a lot of fun. I think we're both really enjoying it. And what we're doing, much like Patrick and Georgetown, we're passing on the knowledge that was given to us by our coaches, and really just trying to help these kids on the basketball floor, you know, first and foremost. And, maybe more importantly, making good decisions off the court so they can be successful in their lives. I bet you bust their ass in shooting, uh, shooting competitions, though, if anybody has anything to say. I bet you get out there and let them have it. I was going to say that just in case we have to remind them, we can always play a game of horse and put them back in place real quick. <laughs> Last thing, just philosophically, like your, your next win here, you're in year four, your next win will be number 20, and you guys should be a tournament team this year. When you and I alluded to this earlier, Chris, given what you've done in your career, you don't have to do this, but, but you go back to St. John's, try to restore the luster. What have you enjoyed more than maybe you thought you would about this process? Because it's not easy, but what have you enjoyed more than you thought? Yeah, I really love watching the kids get better. We've had kids with Shamari Pons, Marvin Clark, and Justin Stein. We've had them for three years now, and their growth as players – on the court, you know, their skill level, the, their, the ability to deal with adversity, uh, now coming upon 20 wins where we, you know, just three or four years ago we are at eight wins. So right. the, the growth, the, the progress, not perfection, uh, and watching these kids grow and enjoy their, their, their time here at St. John's. And the other thing I really love is the competition. I mean, when that game's on, man, yesterday, I was having a blast. And I really just felt good for the players. When we got back in that game and the garden was rocking, I just kind of stood around like, Man, this is awesome to be 55 back in the garden. This is cool. So I'm, I'm having a blast. And like I said, but the most important thing, SVP, is passing on the knowledge that was given to us. Give it to these young kids. And, and it's a game. Go out there, prepare, of course. There's a little bit of pressure. But go out there, enjoy yourself, man. Play with fun and passion. Well, it was, uh, it was special. It was special. And the next one will be special, too. You, you owe Providence, right? They came in your joint and got one. So you, you got to take it on the road and let them even the score, right? Yeah, they, they, they put it on us just a week ago. Yeah, so we got to get back at them for sure. All right, well, that's Wednesday. Coach, I appreciate the time, man. It's been too long. It's great to say hello again like this, and uh, we'll talk again soon. Keep doing your thing, all right, Chris? Anytime, SVP. I watch you every night, man. Appreciate it.